This snow, it's all from today. Okay, Reese, if you could be so kind as to uh, share with us the story of how we got to this point where I could drive this truck 2,200 miles from Washington to Wisconsin, and you could drive it 22 minutes, and we have to have it towed home. Well, we were out in the middle of nowhere uh, going to see if we could see uh, Northern Lights because rumor has it you could see them from this part of the town. Uh, and we were heading to the next town because our first stop was that eventful. And, you know, started smelling something funny, then rattle, 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 uh, and then clouds of smoke. So I'm like, oh shit, I gotta put this over. So I did. And, uh, well, uh, it was still smoking, it was leaking. Uh, a cop came and checked on us and then uh, left us. Uh, didn't even ask me my name. All he asked for was my age. Uh, didn't question why there were three teenagers rolling around in this, in cowboy hats, at 11 at night. He must have had to get home. But, uh... Do you got. feel bad? Um, Do you feel responsible for, for what I you've done? For a, I did for a minute. And then you put me at bay by saying it wasn't my fault. So uh, I feel a lot better about this. But if I knew it was my fault, I would have still felt guilty. I don't blame you. Until I know what happened. Oh boy. Alright, well. I'm going to take a quick gander at what's going on inside there. This was the side we believe was making all the noise. Oil was coming out of there, and this thing was just spewing smoke and steam and whatever, I don't know. And, uh, and maybe we can save it. Go ahead and take it off. What the heck?
pulling the lifters out with my magnetic pickup tool and I'm getting this. Well, it was nice to have you on here for a little bit, but time to come back off. That 
is one chewed up camshaft. Oh my goodness. And this guy will come out. Oh, now he won't, but there is definitely, oh, it seemed okay. I don't know what causes that. Well, my stupid GoPro died. Battery wasn't charging, so you don't get to watch me cut this. Not that you've never seen anybody cut exhaust pipe with a Sawzall before. Uh, but I'm just going to Probably just cut right there in the middle of that. That way, if I decide to put it back the way it was, I can just uh, patch it. Uh, there was also like no clearance, and that was right up against the transmission up there, so it would need to have been adjusted anyway. But after I'm done with this, who knows? I might just do do exhaust. Maybe I'll do stacks. The reason I'm cutting it is because I need to get the exhaust manifolds out of the way. And I don't really want to try to fight with those bolts on the uh, on the downpipe. So I'm just going to cut that and that'll be fine. Oh, I see something's not moving. I'm in the middle of pulling the oil pan. I'm not recording this. I don't think anybody really needs to see the progress of me pulling greasy ass bolts out of the oil pan but I was having trouble getting to that one and as you can see there was a reason for that my oil pan is a little bit deformed I don't know that hole looks suspect here's the hole from this end Something was trying to get out. So this is the only way that I'm able to get to this bolt. But at least I can get to it. I tried to bend this in with the uh, big old uh, pry bar there, but no, it wasn't happening. 
this will do it. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Yeah. Hey, you're smaller than me. Why don't you get in here and do it? I'm wearing my nice coat. <laughs> I'm wearing my nice jeans. Make sure you're not, like, recording my butt crack. Oh, I would never. What if I record from underneath? Uh, I don't think you want to go under there. Alright. Come on, oil. It's definitely full of something. What do we got for Christmas? We got these here. Of course, you would expect to see that. Not this. This is not expected. This is a... What the... F Okay, that's understandable. Why? Reese, don't follow me. <laughs> these are mine. I have all of them. I counted all of these. I'm not missing any. And clearly, this is stock. This is not. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say. Ain't so, that something? Someone left this in the engine. Maybe it was a dealer option. <laughs> this is funny. So I don't even know how it would, like, <laughs> did this go through and cause? <laughs> okay, so I, uh, this is a question for everyone. How did this end up in the oil pan? I, I don't know what kind of channels it made it. Well, I guess it looks pretty pretty twisted so I guess it made its way down I'm thinking it was just playing it sitting around up there and then it finally just worked its way down and that's what killed it interesting <laughs> that's... there's a snake there's a snake there's a snake in my oil pan there's a snake in my boot there's a snake in my block Oh, this is probably what did it. <laughs> All right, well, here's the underside. Why does that one look like it's unscrewed? What the hell is going on under here? Otherwise, there's the piston. That's nice. I'm gonna have to hang this up somewhere. That's a that's a trophy right there. Yeah, it is. Hi, Owen. Owen, come here, buddy. Say hi. Owen, did you see my piston? Owen, look! Owen, look! Yeah, screw you. Bitch. I think that'll do it for this episode. I've done as much as I really care to do with this engine. I uh, got the piston out and found the, the culprit, the cause. I'm assuming it's a, it's a guess. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe a push rod going through the engine isn't a big deal. I don't know. I'm assuming it is. Uh, so I think that's the general consensus. Perhaps. Well, well uh, maybe people can throw it in the comments and let me know what they think if I'm way off my rocker. So I do have a line already on a low mileage crate 360. And so I'm going to probably be getting that and there's a little bit of work to do on it. Something with the valve, someone put the wrong valves in. Uh, so I will probably do whatever needs to be done on that. And then uh, put that in in place of this and get that working. So then if I happen to have screwed up my Little Red Express engine when I rebuilt that the first time because, you know, I'm kind of an idiot, then I have another, I have another engine ready to go. And that's, that's the whole plan for this thing. This is my backup. So all the times I screwed something up on my little red, 
this is here to to make it better so uh, i'll uh leave it at that and i'm gonna go go frame these it's definitely full of something 